सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई विल कंटिन्यू माई चैप्टर विच इज ऑन लिपिड दिस इज पार्ट थ्री If you want to see part part two video, the link of that videos are available in description box of this video. So today I will teach you terpenoid and cholesterol, and we will study about biosynthesis of terpenoid and cholesterol. So terpenes are diverse class of compound. They contain ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, and forty carbons in their structure. Regarding their source, when you extract oil from fragrant plants. that oil contains terpenes so terpenes are hydrocarbons when these hydrocarbons contain oxygen in form of alcohol ketone or aldehyde then these terpenes are called terpenoids so terpenes and terpenoids have been used as spices perfume medicine for thousand of year like menthol it is present in peppermint oil Geraniol is present in geranium oil. Gingerberine is present in oil of ginger, and B-selenine is oil of ciliary. If you see the basic unit present in any terpenes, the basic unit is isoprene, and this isoprene is 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene. So this is their head part. the part which is near to this methyl group is called head part and other part is called tail portion of isoprene unit so head of one isoprene join with tail of other isoprene unit so they give a u a terpene so in this structure you can see tail of this isoprene combined with head of this isoprene tail of this isoprene combined with head of this isoprene will give you alpha farnesine this is the structure of alpha farnesine this is terpenes when there are cyclic terpenes or terpenoid there what happens the head portion combined with tail portion of other isoprene unit then there occur any combination or joining of carbon that give you formation of cycle so in cycle formation there is no need that uh, head or tail combination will occur any carbon will attack any other reactive carbon to give you a cycle so here i told you the basic unit is isoprene but when biosynthesis of terpene or terpenoids occur occur from isopentenyl pyrophosphate which is 3 methyl 3 butenyl pyrophosphate now we will study about different classes of terpenes so when i say monoterpenes it means two isoprene unit join together means there will be 10 carbon atom because we know in isoprene unit there is carbon 5 and hydrogen 8 so monoterpenes are combination of two isoprene which means they contain 10 carbons in their structure sesquiterpenes contain 15 carbons means there are three isoprene unit many fragrance and flavoring uh, compound or plants they contain monoterpene or sesquiterpene in their structure and these compounds are called essential oils so monoterpenes are of 10 carbon then diterpenes are of 20 carbon and diterpenes are present in cafestol caviol and vitamin a squalene is a triterpene which contain 30 carbon and it is the precursor of cholesterol which is the precursor for all the steroidal hormone present in our body so this is the structure of squalene i told you squalene has 30 carbons means how many isoprene unit six isoprene unit so you can count this methyl group 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 multiply by 5 it gives you 30 carbon okay so this six methyl group are present in a isoprene unit and this isoprene unit is made up of carbon 5 hydrogen 8 okay so that's why i multiplied it with 6 next is carotenoid carotenoids are tetraterpene which contain 40 carbons so in this you will see beta carotene this is the structure of beta carotene and beta carotenes 
gives orange color to carrot and apricot okay when you cleave beta carotene you will get two molecules of vitamin a which is called retinol and when you oxidize retinol it will give you retinol which is aldehyde this compound play important role in vision and lycopene lycopene is the compound responsible for red color of tomatoes and watermelon this is structure of lycopene and here you can see how many methyl groups 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 means 8 multiplied by 5 which is carbon 5 give you 40 carbon so it will tell you there are 40 carbons present means 8 isoprene units are present so i told you isopentenyl pyrophosphate is the basic unit from which all terpenes and cholesterol synthesis happened so now we will study how this isopentenyl phosphate formed in biosynthesis process so two acetyl coenzyme a so one acetyl group is this when another acetyl unit combine with this it will give you acetoacetyl coenzyme a so enzyme used is thiolase so you just have to make like ch3co then again ch2 co then scoa so this is acetoacetyl coa then come enzyme hmg coa synthase hmg full form is beta hydroxy beta methyl butyryl coa enzyme okay so what it does it will combine one more acetyl coenzyme a so acetyl coa this cs3 co this carbon will react with this carbon and it will give you COO negative CH2 and uh, this hydro uh, carbonyl will convert into hydroxyl and this methyl is present here and remaining structure is same so you have to learn this is beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl COA okay next is HMG COA reductase reductase means reduction will happen and this reduction will happen at this carbonyl this carbonyl will become CH2OH so this will become CH2OH this is called mevalonate this is 6 carbon unit now this mevalonate will get phosphorylated and this phosphorylation happen through enzyme mevalonate kinase and ATP will convert into ADP means adenosine triphosphate convert into adenosine diphosphate means it will give its one phosphate group to mevalonate and there was a hydroxyl group so this hydroxyl group will get phosphorylated so this will become 5-phosphomevalonate now another phosphorylation will happen using enzyme phosphomevalonate kinase so another ATP will use and you will get another phosphate group this is called 5-pyrophosphomevalonate okay now this hydroxyl group is free it will also get phosphorylated by enzyme kinase so this get also phosphorylated so this compound will become 3-phospho-5-pyrophosphomevalonate okay now Pyrophosphomevalonate decarboxylase means decarboxylation will happen. This will come out as a carbon dioxide gas. So you will get double bond here. Okay. So you will get double bond here, and this OP group will also remove. So from here, this OP group remove, you will get your isopentenyl pyrophosphate. So this is the basic unit for synthesis of all the terpenes and cholesterol so isomerization of uh, isopentenyl pyrophosphate will happen it will give you dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate this double bond comes here okay so this is isomerization and enzyme is isopentenyl pyrophosphate isomerase so this is 5 carbon unit this is 5 carbon in unit so when isopentenyl pyrophosphate will combine with the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate 
you will get geranyl pyrophosphate which is 10 carbon unit so you have to join this group with this group in head to tail manner okay now you have 10 carbon unit so this 10 carbon unit further combined with isopentanyl pyrophosphate in head to tail manner you will get farnesyl pyrophosphate so it is 15 carbon this is a terpene okay this contain 15 carbon unit so you know we have performed synthesis of geranyl pyrophosphate in previous slide so this was 10 carbon unit with geranyl pyrophosphate now from geranyl pyrophosphate synthesis of monoterpene will start first you perform hydrolysis you have to remove this two phosphate group you will get alcohol group you will get geraniol it is the major component of rose and geranium oil okay now you have to perform reduction reduction of this double bond when you reduce this double bond you will get a chiral carbon but you will get a negative citronellol it is also a main component of rose and geranium oil next is oxidation happen this alcohol will group will get oxidized to aldehyde so that's why it becomes citronellol al is aldehyde ol is alcohol okay so these are all mono terpene because they contain 10 carbon in their structure so other probability is that you will get a positive charge here when you remove this two phosphate group cyclization happen between this carbon and this carbon okay and you will get a positive charge now water will react it will give you alpha terpeniol it is the major component of juniper oil okay now again water will react at this position and you will get terpene hydrate it is a common constituent of cough medicine okay so now from here what happen you will get double bond here so this is called limonene so this is major component of orange and lemon oil now you have to perform oxidation at this carbon and finally reduction give you OH this is negative menthol it is major component of peppermint oil so this is the biosynthesis of monoterpene from geranyl pyrophosphate further if you take farnesyl pyrophosphate which was 15 carbon unit so monoterpene synthesis happened from this geranyl pyrophosphate and cholesterol biosynthesis will happen from this farnesyl pyrophosphate which is 15 carbon unit so now you have farnesyl pyrophosphate when two unit of farnesyl pyrophosphate will join in head to tail manner you will get your 30 carbon unit which is called squalene so this chain form long chain form is converted into half semicycle form you can see and uh, this is re uh, rewritten structure of squalene in half cyclic form when this converted into cyclic form using enzyme epoxidase hydroxylase cyclase you will get lanosterol okay so this is 30 carbon unit lanosterol structure then series of reaction happened like uh, near about 19 reactions happened for conversion of lanosterol to cholesterol so this is the structure of cholesterol okay from lanosterol which was 30 carbon unit you get cholesterol which is 27 carbon unit and uh, there occur removal of two methyl group from c4 and one methyl group from c14 so there was two methyl group at c4 position here i have shown you numbering of this sterol cholesterol moiety so it starts from here one two three four at carbon 4 position there was 2 methyl group in lanosterol in cholesterol the, it was missing and here i have written removal of one methyl group happened from c14 so this is c14 position you can see in lanosterol there is a methyl group present at c14 position it get removed and now next i have written shift of double bond from c8 to c5 so c8 
position is here and you can see there is double bond in lanosterol at C8 position now it is present here in cholesterol which is carbon fifth position and next is reduction in double bond happen between C24 and C25 C24 25 position is this you can see here there is a double bond here so it get reduced so you will get a single bond here so this is the difference between structure of lanosterol and cholesterol and uh, conversion of lanosterol which is 30 carbon unit to 27 carbon cholesterol structure so in this uh, video i showed you synthesis of monoterpene and synthesis of cholesterol from acetyl coenzyme a okay so thank you for watching the video